this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a preview for my live sale, which will be tomorrow, Wednesday, January 20th at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I will be um, showing the items that I will have for sale in my live sale. And uh, if you are interested in any, um, let me know. And um, we'll work something out. And uh, this isn't going to be everything, but this is most everything that I'm going to have. Um, so let's see. I'm going to start. I'm going to start over here. So I have, oops, here we go. I have this beautiful floral creamer. Now I'm going to be going kind of fast, just doing a preview of what I'm going to have for sale. Um, here is a little mini ginger jar. This is made in Japan. It's a Chokin um, art style. This is a um, hung, made in Hungary. And it is a, um, well, it says crystal. Mouth blown crystal, and it's got this beautiful rose on it. I have this Mexican pottery. I'm going to say it's either a mini vase or maybe a toothpick holder. I have a glass turtle. Let's see if I can get, there we go, the body. Oh, I almost feel a sneeze coming on. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I have a brass bell. This is made in Japan, and it is for Leavenworth, Washington. And for those of you that were watching um, Tim at Over the Years Sale, he had one of these that was... Um, I believe painted as a Siamese cat. Now this one is a newer version of it, which has its own little paint job here. But he sits on like a fishbowl or a planter. I have a pair of hinge boxes that are in the shape of a birdhouse. And I have a pair of hinge boxes that are nursery rhymes. So Mary had a little lamb and the cow jumped over the moon. And now each of these has a little, um, I guess a little charm thing on the inside. The birdhouses do not. Um, I have this copper and brass. Uh, this is, I believe, made in England, pitcher. Um, this is Italian pottery, and this is like a small vase. I have this beautiful Joseph's original. She still has her tag, and this is the seventh year. She has her stickers, she's marked Japan and Joseph's original, and she has her little booklet. She is in perfect, perfect condition. She is so beautiful. Let me get her around here so you can see her in the front again. Lovely. I have a Tanala owl. And this is painted very beautifully on the back. I have a set of three brass sailboats. So here is the smaller one. Then here is the medium sized one. And here is the large one.
I have a pair of woven angels. So this one is blue and this one is just a natural straw color. They are very nicely made. And I have a set of three um, corn husk women. Now two of them are on stands. These two are on stands, but this one is not. There we go. Get those back over there. And I have this. Now this is a handmade piece. Um, and I am not 100% sure if this is a vase or a glass. I mean, it looks more like a vase, but it's shaped in about the size of a glass. But I just love this blue glaze that was on there. It's just beautiful. I have this box that I'm not, am I, nope, I am not sure where this is made. I will try to do a little more investigating, but look how beautiful that inlay is on this box. Now this is a, um, this is a lacquer box, like a, um, like a lacquered wood box. And then on the inside, it is lined. Uh, let's see. I have this really neat little dried, oops, dried picture frame or dried flower picture frame. Oh, that's not easy to say beautiful dried flowers. It is has a little signature down here. And the fun part is, is that this is on corduroy. I don't know if you can see the fabric in the back, but that is corduroy. And definitely something, oops, you don't see every day. I have a pair of hankies. So the top one has this applique, which has some hand stitching on it. And then the second one is a much smaller hanky, but it has this beautiful stitching and lace on it. I have another pair of hankies. So this one has a beautiful blue flower. And then the second one, this is a pear. Oops, where is the flower? This one has, the second one has lots of pink flowers, but it does have, here it is, the main bouquet of flowers. Aren't those beautiful? There we go. And then I have this little wooden um, toucan, and I am not 100% sure what exactly this is supposed to be but he is really neat. He's very nicely carved on this very hard wood. And I have a piece of fabric. Now this one is fun. This is called um, Animal Flashcards. And so this is as, oops, that's upside down. <laughs> there we go. So you can see each of these squares is an, um, an animal and a letter. And it's a nice little chunk of fabric. I'll have that all measured up for the sale tomorrow. And then I have this, which is really interesting. So somebody started quilting and they put together these beautiful squares. But then that's as far as they got. And so in here, I have 
let's see, I've got all of these lovely different designs on here from a quilt that somebody started. And again, I will, um, I will see how many of these total that I have, um, but love the colors on that. That is just beautiful colors. And again, great to finish the quilt or great for any other kind of project. Um, now this one is interesting because I have the fabric that is the flashcards. This is hardware store alphabet cards. And these are all, um, I'll show the back here. So we've got all of these um, items you would find in a hardware store as a flashcard. And look how big each one of these flashcards is this big. They are huge. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful flashcards. Um, so I think that's everything there. So I'm going to go down here where I have a DAR tin tray. So you can see that's got, it's kind of like a bowl, kind of a bowl tray. I have another Tanala piece. This is a plate, which does have a hook for hanging. So you can hang this up. Um, and it is marked Mexico on the back and it's got this beautiful Tanala style bird on it. Um, this tile is interesting because this is an Amana tile. And this on the back says genuine Amana Handmade Furniture, Amana Society, Amana, o Iowa. Um, and it does have a hole to hang this. And so this is a tile. And then you've got the wood all on the outside. I have this really fun pair. This is a salt and pepper that are mason jars. It says um, Old Thompson Spice um, Company, but they're designed to look like mason jars. I have these two tiles that you can hang that have windmills and tulips, and these are from Holland. And so this part is tile, oops, tile, and then with the wood frame. And then I have a pair of horse pictures, but these are, um, um, got, well, I'll show you. So they're not like horse horses, but um, they are absolutely adorable horses. Let me get in here close. And they've got those huge eyelashes on them. And then I've got another one. So here we've got more like a little family of horses. They are so cute. Um, and then I've got a couple pieces of jewelry. I have this purple stone. This is a natural stone and it's a stretchy bra bracelet, but it's all just solid purple stone. It's lovely. I have this really nice silver tone and rhinestone uh, brooch. I'll get in there so you can see. Got lots of different sizes of rhinestones on there. I have this beautiful necklace. It has some beads on it. And then it has this picture down here of this lovely lady. And then I'll show the back. And then I have a really fun set. So this is an enamel uh, bracelet, just clasps like that. And it's got this really neat ring that matches the colors of it. So it's kind of an off white and black. And this is a stretchy ring. 
And moving my way over here, I have these beautiful, um, oops, let's see, get that. Well, there's two yellow, two pink, and two blue, <laughs> although it's hard to show. And so those are porcelain uh, napkin rings. I have this beautiful, now this is a, um, it says USA on the bottom. And it is a, it's a little more of a vibrant yellow than what is coming across on my end when I look at the screen. Um, it's a, it's a more of a vibrant yellow uh, planter, swan planter. And I have, um, this happens to be another Mexican piece. And it's a lovely little dish. It does have holes in the back so you can hang this. A really nice coloring on that. I have a pair of uh, wooden houses and these are painted in a nice primitive style. They're painted all the way around except on the bottom. And I have a pair of ceramic houses and both of these appear to be from Colombia. They're two different styles but on the markings on the bottom and the back they are from uh, both from Colombia. And I have a bell here. Now this is marked UNESCO and it is 1977 Mary Rug. And we have got these, I'm guessing, baby birds on here. And the bell has a pretty quiet little ring to it. I have this beautiful made in Japan bowl. And you can see the top is also a porcelain, but it has gold on it to kind of depict um, wigs as like an actual little basket you would have. I have an Indiana, uh, Indiana glass diamond point amber color footed bowl. And this is an Otagiri a Bluebo Goose planter. And then um, this is also Otagiri, and it is a um, ceramic tile. And it has a hole here so you can hang it, and it's this cute little farm. And then this piece is really beautiful. And uh, it does have a mark on the back and I'm going to have to look it up because I can't quite tell if it is Danish, Finnish, something, something like that. But look at that incredible detail carved into the wood. Isn't that just amazing? And there is a hook on the back so you can hang this up. Um, I have this little uh, box and it is marked um, Historic Virginia City, Montana. But we've got these adorable little puppies and then it's just a box. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get some of that to come off because I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm going to work on seeing if I can get that off. I have this. Um, this is a uh, painted in Japan, made in Japan. And it does look to be... Yeah, I think that's painted. I'm going to see. I'm going to double check that. But it does look... It could be transfer. Sometimes it is hard to tell with those. Um, I have this fun little set of boxes. Now, these say Hawaii, but they are made in the Philippines. And so we've got this one box, and then we've got another box, Hawaii, and then we've got a third box, Hawaii. 
And isn't that fun? They're all lined in red. And all three of them are the same style. And they each have the little pineapple and Hawaii on them. Um, let's see. I have a metal piece. And it is this really neat clamshell um, three compartment serving tray. And I'm going to look, it's got the marks on the back. And so I'm going to look to see what the marks say um, about what this is. And this is footed, so it sits very nicely. Um, I have this really neat set. That. <laughs> This really neat set. This is a teapot right there. And this is from Cracker Barrel in 1997, I think, 97 Cracker Barrel. So we have the teapot and I have the creamer, um, but I do not have the sugar. But that's a pretty awesome set right there with just those two. And then the last item, let me make sure. Yep, the last item I have is not an old item, but it's done in an old style. And it's from Sir La Top, which I think Sir La Top, because of the pandemic, had to close, I'm pretty sure, or they've downsized significantly. Um, but this is, you can see, it is a beautiful. Um, juicer and it's got the holes in it and then it comes right into here and it is this beautiful orange so great for your orange juice um, but yeah this is just really cool and it's in really nice condition like really nice condition uh, so that is the preview of most of the items I'm going to have for my sale. Um, and again, just about everything is going to be um, available if you're interested in purchasing it. Now, there's a few items here that I think are probably going to end up being offer ups um, that I won't be selling um beforehand. I will wait till the sale. So I just want to mention that. But if you are interested in anything, um, please let me know uh, because I have a lot more and I will be adding some more to the sale. But I wanted to get this out because I knew that I was going to be having these items for sure. And I wanted to get this preview out for my sale. So I hope you will be joining me tomorrow, January 20th, um, at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific for my live sale. And um, I also will be having a sale on Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. So if you can't make this one, um, then uh, try again Saturday. Now I will be having all different things. Um, so again, check back for a preview because I'll have another preview. And thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and um, hit the like button and the notification bell also so you'll know when I go live and when I put out new content. And I hit 500 and I want to thank everybody for that. And I am going to be working my way to a thousand now and I'm getting together some great items to have for a giveaway. So stay tuned for more information on that. And um, I think that's about everything. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you at my live sale.